Welcome back. I'm sure many of you have seen that the Unity 6.2 beta is available to use. and It has some new features that I'm excited about, including upgrades to ECS and the new mesh LOD system. In keeping with the videos I've been working on, I'm going to explore the new world UI feature. I've set up a little world with some rabbits hopping around, a new panel which will show the rabbits names, hunger level and add a button to feed them. This will take the scene from this to this. Let's dive in. I have created this UXML panel for the demo. It has a label to show the name, a slider to show how hungry the rabbits are, and a button to feed them a treat. I also have some basic styling set up via these USS classes. These are mostly using the Unity predefined classes to style the slider. Let's jump back into the main editor for the next step. Now we need a new UI document. As you can see, I have a UI document already set up, but this is for my screen space UI. For every world space UI component that you want to display in your world, you are going to need a new game object with its own UI document. So to create that, we'll go over to the hierarchy, right click, go down to UI toolkit, select UI document, and I'm going to call this rabbit stats. Now I'm going to move this to a position that I know is going to be visible in my game view. And give it a rotation. And next I'm going to drag my panel into the visual tree asset section. As you can see, this is now showing up in our game view. It's still set up as a screen space uh, UI. To change that, we're going to need to create ourselves a new panel settings um, object. So in our project, right click, create, go to UI toolkit, and get a new panel settings asset. We're going to name this world space settings. Now in the inspector, we can see there's a lot of options. The one we care about here is render mode. We're going to change this from screen space overlay to world space. There's a few settings that we'll go over in a minute. But before we do that, the next step is to go back to our UI document and drag this into the panel settings. Now you can see that our UI is showing up. It's not quite styled correctly. Now that we've added these panel settings, we do have some new controls that we can modify. So at the moment it's defined as your um, 1920 by 1080. So it's trying to do a standard 16 by nine resolution. We can modify this to be something in keeping with what we want. Say 800 by 100. You can see that that's moved and scaled that object. You do also have the option of using the scale options in the transform which can be useful if you're trying to scale up while retaining uh, quality of the object, like so. But for now, we can just use the world space dimensions. That's everything you need to get started with the new world UI uh, system within Unity. Let's just have a little look at a couple of the settings on the UI document. The first is size mode. We can use fixed, which you define a width and height for how you want that to be spaced within your world. You can also select dynamic. This will shrink your UI uh, object in the world to try and fit um, the actual document itself. As you can see, that has squished everything down to not a lot of size. So I'm just gonna set that back to fixed. Next is the pivot reference size. You have, for this, you have bounding box or layout. Um, if you use layout, that will force the um, size calculations and the pivot calculations to only consider what is within your UXML document, whereas bounding box will consider other things that are within the world and within the world UI um, as well. Last is pivot. As you can see, this is set for center. This is where it will draw your UI from. For this particular instance, I'm going to select uh, the bottom center 
as I'm going to be positioning my game object just above my rabbits and then I want the UI to extend above that. The last thing on this panel is this create panel input configuration. This will create a new game object within your scene which has some additional controls for the world UI. I'm not going to cover that in this video but please feel free to explore it yourself. I have now created a prefab out of the UI document game object and I've set up a script that will attach a copy of that clone to each of my rabbits here. As you can see the UI is displaying nicely however a lot of the time they are backwards um, or angled in such a way that you can't read or interact with them very easily. So to fix that we're going to create a new script uh, which we can attach to our UI prefab that will make sure that our UI is always going to be facing the camera. So to do that, go to our project space, create new mono behavior script, and we'll call this UI face uh, camera. And we'll open that up. In this script, we don't need much. The first thing I'm going to provide is a serialized field. This is going to be for a camera. In our start method, I'm also going to get a reference to camera.main if camera is null. Just like that. And then the only other thing that we need to handle here is do a transform to get our UI's transform as we're going to be attaching this script to that UI. Dot rotation. And we can see IntelliSense is already handling everything that we need. So we'll just complete that. But we're going to be using quaternion dot look rotation. We're going to be getting the camera's transform and just do the forward direction of the camera from that transform. This is then doing camera dot transform uh, dot up. You could use that or you can just use a vector three dot up or even use um, the if you can get a reference to the transform of the rabbit then it will keep it in the up direction of the rabbit for now i'm going to leave this as camera dot transform dot up since we have that reference save that script and now back to unity Now what I have to do is go to my prefab, drag the new script as a new component. Don't assign a camera at this point, that will be handled within the start method of the script to grab the scene camera. And now just press play. As you can see, all of our UI objects are now facing the camera, all pointed in an upwards direction relative to the camera. If you were to rotate the camera uh, in any of the axes, so say to roll it in the z-axis then the UI would follow um, the camera and you would always see uh, everything orientated in that fashion. We can even go and click oh, on our UI try and reduce the hunger of some of our rabbits. I hope this video has been helpful please like and subscribe for my future content and if you would like to discuss more topics on developing your games and applications please head over to my discord the links in the description. If you have other topics you'd like to see me cover, please leave a comment below. Catch you next time.